Hey guys, welcome back to Goodwill. Of course, I am here in the dishes, if you know. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is Lonnie, and welcome back, or welcome to the channel. I'm so excited right now, I can't even see straight. You guys know I love my Pyrex. Look what I just found. Sitting right here. Do you know what this is? This is Delphite Blue. You guys, the condition is amazing. It is all three pieces. I am being so quiet right now. Like, I feel like they're going to come and tell me no. You can't. They mispriced them. Oh, my God. Look at this. So, this is the medium-sized one, you guys. It's $2.99. I'm dying right now. I'm being so quiet. The smallest one is $2.99. Look here. Pirate. It is stunning. See, the color goes kind of all the way through here. And then here is the larger of the three. Um, yeah, I'm trying to show it to you up close here. Pyrex. A little bit of like, looks like schmutz or rust or something on that. But you guys, these are in amazing condition and I'm so excited did I tell you how much this one was y'all $3.99 $2.99 each on those so four and six ten dollars these are so valuable and they were just right here I want to see when they were put out I bet it was today Girl, I can't read it. I don't have my glasses on, but I cannot get these in the cart fast enough. So exciting. Gosh, I feel like I just need to get out of here before somebody take them away from me. These are cute. Well, these are Starbucks. That is so nasty. Yuck. But they're cute, though. They're $1.99. Those are so fun. Let's see if there's anything else here. You know I have to look at the dishes. Oh my gosh. I am just... I feel like I just struck gold. I really do. Oh, here's all the clear glass we saw when I found my trifle dish. Let's see if there's any art. I'm telling you, you guys, I feel like I just need to go home. I feel like I just need to get out of here or somebody pinch me. This is why you have to come to the thrift stores often, too. Let's see what else they have really quick here. Corkscrew. Garage door top and side nail on vinyl mm, we need something for our garage door but I don't think it's that oh no I think he said like garage door insulation or something I can't remember I don't pay good attention to him half the time here's some masks they're 99 cents each they're the N95 we're doing a lot of sanding down at my kid's house. I think I'm going to go ahead. They're 99 cents. You get 25 in a box. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick one of those up too. Because that way if we need them, we have them for painting and staining and sanding and all the things. Pretty animal print. Let's see the uh, tabletops unlimited. These are the ones we saw last week from Hobby Lobby. I can't even leave my cart because I'm afraid somebody will take my, my Pyrex. Don't take my Delphite Blue. Hey guys, oh my gosh, I could not get out of that Goodwill fast enough. I felt like I needed to be on my team. But oh my gosh, when I looked up comps on these bowls, they are valued anywhere from $225 to sold on Etsy for $260.
If you're a Pyrex collector, then you know. It is so rare to find them out in the wild anymore. But I did. And I'm so excited. A lot excited. of my thrift stores, especially savers, like they look them up, they mark them up. Um, you're really paying full secondhand retail price for those. Um, but when you can actually find them at a thrift store price out in the wild, it's like I strike in gold. For me, anyway. What? I could not get out of there fast enough. Couldn't. No. Let's go to Savers because I feel like we're on a roll. We just need to find some purses for my Monday night show. So hopefully we can do that. Let's go to Savers and see what we can find. Alright guys, we're here at Savers. Let's get on in here and see if we can find any purses for Monday night show. Let's go. I'm gonna head back to the wall of purses. Hopefully they've got something good back there. There's a vintage coach. It's navy blue. Super worn. No hang tag look. I want 25 for it. Here's a Michael Kors tote. $60, you guys. And look. It's 12. The glazing is just destroyed on that corner. I bet the inside's a mess, too. Yeah. So dirty up there around the rim. Wow. Okay. That's nuts. Okay, here is, this looks like Coach. It is the large backpack. They want 80 for it. Which I've sold this before, but in great condition. Hang tag is attached. Would you pick this up? I just don't know. 80 bucks. Cannot tell if it's blue or black, to be completely honest. Um, but it is the larger. Pretty sure I sold this about a year ago. And close to 200, it seems like. Um, and that was in a live show. But let me know what you guys think of that. Again, I cannot tell if this is blue or black. It may be black, and it could just be because it's faded out so much. But you could probably dunk this. You know how they do the, the coach dunking. This could probably be dunked and conditioned really well. But $80. Oh, I don't know. It is extremely busy in here today. Hey girl, how are ya? Here we are back at the racks of purses and I've spotted this. This is coach. It is in the chalk color. I'm surprised it's not up front. There is some corner rub, but I might be able to do something with this one. So I think I will put that one in the cart. Oh, sorry. No, you okay. I'm in your way here. There's a Kate Spade. Oh, she's got lots of cracking on her. $20? Oh my. Look at that. Crazy. This looks like a Myra. It is ripped. So I know one of my sweet buyers over on Poshmark is looking for a Myra, but that one's ripped. So I've been on the lookout for a Myra, but let's see what else. That feels like leather. 
That is big. It's like a crocodile. It is Banana Republic. Banana Republic new is very expensive. I'm not sure. I'll have to give that a good once over when we weed out the cart a little bit. See what else we have. Nine West. Is that one? Ooh, this color is pretty. I am looking for this color purse for myself. I haven't come across one yet that I like anyway. What is that? Tinianello, I think. Ooh, there's something yellow. You guys were asking for yellow. It's Claiborne, though. Let's see what else we have. What's this purple number? Thought it was Kipling for a second, but it is not. I wish I could come travel on. I wish I could find some nice wallets. I feel like I haven't found any nice wallets in forever. I think that's that same brand. This is cute. This is also, this is a B. Mikowski. Oh, that's more pretty. It's almost like a gray blue. That's really pretty. The leather on that is amazing. I like that one a lot. Love the color. Okay, and the card that one does. We're not doing too bad. Rosetti, here's the color that I'm looking for for myself, but I don't really want Rosetti. That looks vintage. I love the forest emeraldy green. It's really nice. Is this sad? Here's a nylon. I love the fuchsia color. Arrow. What leather? It is. Hide sign. I'm gonna check this one out closer. Let's think about that one in the cart. This is fossil red. It's not in the best condition. That feels like leather. No. Um, this is Draper James. Hold that one in the cart. But I just sold a Draper James, a real cute little rattan tote oh, a couple weeks ago. Oh, look at that. Looks like something my friend Tammy would love. It is shagwear, but the camera is not showing how dirty it is, and it is not in very good condition. But it is definitely giving us um, Radley vibes for sure. We have here. That is extremely soft. It says genuine leather. Oh, I look at that. So soft. I think it's just unbranded. Just a little shoulder bag. Rosetti. 
This is actually Walmart. That is really cute. I like it because I love the checker pattern and I love the, or the denim. That's cute. I'm gonna think about that. I might get that for myself. That's cute. Looks kind of cape, vintage cape. It's not, but it kind of looks like it. Oh, that is a cute one. This is a Myra tote that is so cute, you guys. Look at that. Looks like it's in really nice condition. That is so cute. I don't think this one's what she's looking for, but it is cute. I think we're going to get that one too. That's cute. Oh look, this has a little strawberries. Y'all, look at that. That is so cute. Alright, we are right under the speakers, you guys, but look. More Pyrex. Here is the little blue one. I do not need this one. I already have it. It's only $4.49, so it's a pretty good price, I think. But I think this is the last one that I need for my primary set. I believe I have, I know I have the red and the blue. I think I have thrifted the green one, but here is the yellow. I definitely needed the yellow. Um, it's $14.99, which I think is a decent price for that. Look at this. This is Fitz and Floyd. It's the Dancing Pigs. The Dancing Ballerina Pigs, Fitz and Floyd, how stinking cute is that? I was thinking this about it. This is really pretty. This is a little hand-painted cloche. It doesn't go on that dish, but it probably had a wooden bottom or a glass bottom, I suppose. But it's $6.99. How pretty is that? So stinking cute. This is a, that looks vintage, I don't know if it is, oh it's handmade, Juanita, Juanita made it and she did a good job. This is a spoon rest, that is really pretty, I love that, I think that's fun. Juanita, you did a good job girl, you did a good job. I think this is like a cut glass, uh, probably would have been for olives. I suppose you could use it for crackers too, which is really pretty. $3.49, if you do a lot of entertaining, that would be nice. An old penny jar. Doesn't have the lid though, that's too bad. A little piece of false scrap. I think that's a honey pot. Or jam jar, one of the two. It's missing the little spoon, but that's cute. Very cottage style. I know a lot of people don't pick up false scrap, but I'm telling you that maybe a reason to pick it up is because a lot of people just pass it by. So there are still collectors out there for it. So keep that in mind if you do resell. Oh, look at her. The strawberry teapot. How cute is that? Uh, it's just telefloral, but that is really, it's got a chip. It's really cute. All right. We have definitely had a good day with our Pyrex, haven't we? All right, we? you guys, we are back home. Just got home from Savers. And we did pretty good. I'm pretty excited. I actually found some bags for my Monday night show. And I thought I would just go ahead and share with you what I did end up picking up. I usually will put things in the cart. I'll think about them in the cart. And then I'll weed it out at the end. And this is what made the cut this week. So we will go ahead and get right into this haul. I'm pretty excited. I loved this purse. This is by B. Mikowski. It is a crossbody bag. It is a really pretty kind of um, blue gray and the color on this 
is amazing. It's got the silver tone hardware. It is a true stunner. I loved this bag. This is a Myra tote bag. It is large. It's got the leather trim, also the leather handles, and she is just a beauty. It definitely kind of gives you the boho vibes or that kind of southwestern um, feel to it, and it's just super cute. So cute with the right outfit. I also picked up this Draper James backpack purse. It is leather and it's in this gorgeous taupe color and it is a nice size too. So I really, really, really like this one. I also picked this coach up. Um, I'm surprised they had it back on the rack of purses. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't put it up where they mark items up. Although, I mean, it should have been back there just due to the condition. It does have a, it does have some corner rubs. So I really think I'm going to attempt to work on this one before this one hits the Monday night show. Um, so I don't know if this one will be up this week or not. Everything else you see here will be on Monday Night Show over on Poshmark. Um, and I'll link all of my information down in the description box if you want to come and join us over there. It's a lot of fun. So if you love bags and things, um, come and say hello. I'd love to have you. So I did end up with a couple of wallets, which is kind of nice because I feel like I haven't found wallets in a very, very long time. And I had never heard of this brand. This is Hide Sign. Um, it is leather. It is a smooth leather. I loved the whip stitching on this. It is a full size. So it has this back snap here and then like envelope style here on the front. Really, really pretty. And I just noticed, like, how pretty is this together? Like, I feel like even the styles look beautiful together. The color is fantastic together. So I just think that this is a, this complements this bag nicely with the pretty whip stitching. So I think that would make a really fun set. I really do. And then I also picked up this little guy. This is just a Walmart brand, I believe, but I loved it. I loved the checkered print. I love the frayed edge. I love the denim blue. I think it's just so cute and so fun. And actually, it looks really cute with that bag as well. So I think those are just some fun little pieces to add to the show. And I was really happy to find them because it has been such a struggle to find bags lately. So I was pretty happy to find what I did. And then I also picked up this yellow Pyrex bowl. But this is the largest of the primary set. And I know I told you guys during the video that I this would complete my primary set of mixing bowls. I thought I had the green. I do not. So I will still be on the hunt for the green bowl, but I love that you can just kind of Frankenstein your Pyrex sets up. That's kind of what I've done. Um, I only thrift my pieces, so I do have to kind of mix and match and piece them together as I find them. But to me, that's the fun of it, and I absolutely love it. I just wanted to share with you guys how I styled up my three-piece Pyrex Delphite Blue Mixing Bowls. I absolutely love them. They are so stunning. I think they look really pretty paired with this handmade studio artist vase as well. Honestly, you guys, I feel like I stole this set. So exciting. They are so beautiful.